Hello, this is Paul Bo Bergens, and welcome back to Let's Play Dwarf Fortress Armor Skin. And we are digging out our areas. We got a couple of barrels down here. Good job, guys. Uh, mostly digging right now. We're gonna have to get a meeting hall relatively quickly. Okay, so let's plan our uh, our high worth layers here. So starting here, how much is slate worth a lot? Uh, slate wall. Boom. Dwarf fortress slate. Uh, da, 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 da. uh, unremarkable. Slate is completely unrelated to Slade, which is a different thing. So, that's not worth very much. This layer is worth a lot, so... I'd like to dig this out and um, let's see. Make maybe this top one into our meeting hall. Might be getting too big for our britches here. Um, what is, that, is that a southern expression? I, I feel like it might be. I'm not from the deep south, but I'm from West Virginia, which is has some southern tendencies. And I don't know if people in other parts of the country would know what I'm talking about. Big, too big for my britches. Um, yeah, that's good for now. Um, because we're going to have to dig out some workshop layers as well pretty early on. And the reason I wanted to dig out our meeting hall is because our um, meeting... I guess I could just re-designate it um, for now. Because recently they... See, our, our wagon is all the way down here, so all our guys are running all the way up down. So recently they added a zone called the meeting area. Uh, I don't know if it was recent or not. It's I found out about it recently. So you can designate that and they'll stop hanging out at the freaking wagon which is worthless. So we'll just designate them to be hanging out up here for now when they're idling till we can get that dug out so it's not really that high a priority they're doing it though I feel like I should de-designate de that um, struck morion I really am starting to uh, take a liking to the stones uh, the sound sense Microline. Oh, Microline, you are aqua colored, which makes you pretty. You have a lot of obsidian. Uh, is there anything. This. I'm going to spend a lot of time on the wiki because I would like to learn a little bit more. Um, another mention of. Um, a superfluous viewer uh, liquidated. He's commenting on like every video as he was watching them and pointing out things that I was doing that was pi partly out of date, partly new information that's come to light since I last read. Some things I just like assumed from trial and error and it, they were just blatantly wrong, but I'd like to kind of 
Um, sorry, I was reading about Obsidian. <laughs> um, I'd like to kind of keep myself up to date as I play these. Um, it's a little hard to play a game and talk and read the wiki at the same time, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try my darndest. Um, and you don't really want to listen and watch nothing while I'm reading the wiki, so we'll, we'll try to keep that to a minimum. Um, this area is also calm, so we shouldn't have any problems until... Uh, until invaders come, which are a possibility. Maybe it's not. Maybe I tried like three or four different embarks before I did this. There's an emu. A large flightless bird. It's very curious and has been known to follow other creatures. He's very fat and enormous overall. His feathers are brown. His skin is pale. Chestnut. His eyes are black. I feel like every animal is enormous. Or maybe huge... And enormous. Well, I've, I've seen. Oh, there's a whole clan of emus coming up here. Oh my gosh. What were those? Ravens. Oh, that, that portends badly. When a flock of ravens flies about above your above your fortress it's the it spells doom okay so we struck tetrahedra right so what kind of stuff we have. We have basalt, which is a very common stone if I... we have 67 units of it. Oh, one thing I wanted to say in this video, I'm gonna try this uh, zoomed out. If it looks bad, I'll, I'll try to switch the next video I make. I think it looks pretty good in the video that I... Um, I don't know. Go ahead and leave a comment in this one whether it looks better like this, or uh, right here, or right here. Seems like it's a little too little. Uh, it's not enough shown on the screen on this one. I think this one's going to be best, but let me know if it's too small and you can't see things. Basalt. Um, I think that's a pretty common stone. Magma safe. Formhole layers, uh, yeah. So and hello, I would like to look at these other ones. Oh, andesite. Uh, it's boring. It says <laughs> the wiki says it's boring. Logs, logs, slate. Logs, 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 obsidian, cinnabar, gabbro, which I sang a song about in my other playthrough. So it doesn't tell me what kind of, uh, how many of the, the ores I have. Um, we'll have to wait until we get a magma. Uh, speaking of, oh, the ravens are flying into the volcano. That's interesting. Two ravens there. They're like staying there. Okay, so I think we're gonna just go ahead and risk it because I'd like to get into this area. So we're going to dig into the side because at this point, you know, I don't think, I don't even know if they can jump down in here and then get into my fort that way. I don't think so, 
but I've always kind of played it safe. They're like a... What is going on? This is like some kind of weird portal to another dimension. There's just a billion ravens flying around. So, build a basalt floor here. All right, buddy. You can do it. Basalt wasn't a very good choice, it just looks like black. Um, storage is going pretty well. Let's go ahead and uh, get our idlers working and bring some of this wood inside. There's stones there right now, but. Let's dig out some more further away. What do we got here? Running around. Badgers. Holy crap. I haven't had a very good time with badgers. What are you? There's an owl chasing around the badgers. I'm pretty sure this isn't a calm area anymore. I might have to build my wall faster than I thought I was going to have to. Um, what are these? They look fancy. Milk quartz is not that fancy. Alright, so we got our meeting hall down here. Let's put our... We'll have a couple layers of work or uh, storage areas. One, one, two, and then the next one here. Looks like we only got a couple layers of... Yeah, it looks like one, two, three, four. Four layers that are going to contain iron ore, so... So, we're going to put our workshops probably right here. That is to say our non magma using workshops. This is a fun song. Alright, so more boring rooms. I like those rooms though. They're pretty. Also, in this one we're going to be modifying our... Um, our barracks per one liquidated. I'm going to make a barracks for three. We're going to have three per squad. Um, and we're going to put them on a schedule so that two of them will constantly be sparring and one will be drinking or on break or whatever. So minimum of two. Did we look out and get a pair of Yak bull and yak cow. Wow, we got a breeding pair of uh, people that, or animals that drug the cart. Normally, it's like a yak and a bull, or a yak and a cow. Uh, you know, two different types of animals. Uh, that looks like that's about it for this video. Go ahead and like the video and subscribe. It really helps me out um, and lets me know that you like this type of stuff. Uh, but until next time, 
I'm Paul Bo Perkins, and we will see you then.